All right, I'm gonna commentate on this game here, this here game here of Starcrafts. Uh, sending back the uh, good luck, have fun. Nothing too out of the ordinary, except the little hearts. Let's see. Um, what can I talk about? DVZ. So I like to. Open up with a proxy reaper into reaper hellion harass and uh, into like a bio hellbat uh, push timing uh, right right around the time they try and take a third and usually they're dead by then or I've lost one of the two um, if it gets into late game I might go with some tanks. In TVZ, um, then at that point it will just be like a marine marauder. The Hellbats are no longer really uh, usable because they just have so many wings and veins that Hellbats won't be able to do too much. I like I still like to harass with Hellbats every now and then, like do a Hellbat drop in the late game, but. Other than that, I just like to go with heavy marines, light marauders, just to soak up bane hits, and tanks. But this game doesn't get that far anyway, so. So I've got my, uh, he does spot the proxy. Yeah, he, he does spot it. So, what does he do? Puts down in the spawning pool. Tries to send a couple of drones to harass the worker, but it's already dead. I mean, it's already done. So, at this point, I'm building my first Reaper. And... My CVs. Hmm, I'm not a very good com commenter, by the way. This is like... One of the few times I've actually commentated a game before. So, bear with me. Anyway, here comes uh, my first reaper. I'm just gonna do some drone harass, maybe get a couple kills. Try and get a couple kills. If it doesn't, um, doesn't do too much, that's fine. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll just harass and see taking drones offline, off the line, off the mineral line and stuff. Um, that's gonna like mess up the economy a little bit. Uh, force him to build some lings. Um, just kind of, you know, keeping him busy. Um, so this is like, this is how I like to play from the get-go, just non-stop aggression. Um, but, meanwhile, meanwhile, because I do my, this non-stop aggression stuff, my macro will tend to, uh, to slip. See, look, I bet you, see all this time now I'm not building an SCV? Like, that's bad. I mean, that was just an example of what happens a lot, and that's one of my downfalls. But luckily, I I do do a, do a pretty good job with the uh, with the aggression and the nonstop harass. So I kind of keep it on level playing field, and eventually, a, a lot of times they'll just tap out or they'll just make a mistake or something. Um, so my reaper harass didn't do too much. Let me see, I got three workers, seven lings apparently. But I'm still going at it. Still keeping busy. Um, Reapers are just really, really great. Amazing, yeah. so, especially if you know how to micro. Like, I didn't do too well on the micro. In this game, I remember playing it. Like, I remember, like, I, I had trouble selecting individual Reapers, like, right there. I let that one die. Like, the rule is you should never even lose a single Reaper. Really, to slowlings and a queen, like that should never happen. They're just reapers are too fast. So the fact that I lo lost the reapers, you know, not the greatest, but so I'm still continuing with the the reaper harass. Meanwhile, he's uh, just not able to do too much. He's got a few more drones out, I think. And he's still building. Uh, yeah, he's building some drones got one queen. I'm pretty sure I killed one. I'm not sure. I don't know if I spotted it. I'm building an expansion. I've got my Hellions on the way. So I'm going to transition into like a Reaper Hellion harass. And 
and he's just trying to spread creep. He's not doing not doing a whole lot right now. He's trying to get his drone count up. But I mean, I I don't know. Scout? No, he didn't scout the Hellion. So this is the first. That's probably why he doesn't have his spine. He had like one queen and then he's dead. Now he's just got another one out front. That's, that's just not enough to hold this off. He has got the hell in, so that I looked out on that. He's, uh, he's just kicked in, so he's got faster leads now. Um, I do have to pull back a little bit. Building some barracks at home. I'm probably gonna use, sometimes I'll use this barracks to scout. I'll like build one last reaper out of it and tell it to come home or group up and then send my barracks out over this the over the base to scout in case they're trying to do like a roach push or something. Because that's the one thing that I lose a lot to when I try this strat. Is like early roach pushes or roach rushes. If I don't scout it, I'm dead. So I like to bring my barracks out and float it over their base to see if they can see a ridge or something. Or something. But looks like in this game I just uh, kept up the harassment. Because it was doing so well, I mean they didn't have the spines or anything, they just had so that's why I just kept Got my, see, see what I'm talking about? Like, I'm not building SCVs right now. Let's see what the, uh, he's actually ahead of me. I'm not building. Something I really need to work on. It's just like, I don't know, I've, I've known about it for the longest time. That is my huge downfall. But it's just so hard. Like when I'm in game, I'm just focused on this battle right here. I'm just focused on damage. I'm so focused on it that I just forget about what's going on. I just want to follow my camera to see. See, like I do, I do macro every few seconds. I will like do that. Just not as much as I should. I need to just pull back just for like a split second and and macro. Your right. forces are under attack. At home. So now he's got some lings out. He's forcing me to pull back a little bit and regroup. <clears throat> I've got some bio coming out. Not researching anything just yet. Just because like I've got so attack. much going on. I'm trying to regroup. Run down some depots because I'm supply blocked, no surprise there. Or actually, I just didn't want to do that because I am the worst at depots. Depleted. So I always do this, I just throw down a bunch at once and forget about it for a while. Now I'm just going to group up and uh, go for his rocks here. I got the armory so I can morph into hellbats. Base is under attack. To scout a little bit. I don't see any ro a roach warrant yet, so I mean, at this point, I'd be able to hold off roaches anyway because I've got marauders. Um, now he's got an over here, but I don't even want to waste the time to come back and uh, kill it. You know what I'm saying? Like all my units are just streaming down base, like non-stop, non-stop aggression. That's what I love to do. Your forces and, are under attack. Um, Pays off sometimes, but it also, like I said, it's my downfall at, at times. So I've got this pretty sizable army base, Hellbats, and we've got nothing except Lings right now. Uh, first expansion. He's got a, a third one up here that I'm going to go for next, I believe. See, I'm already just streaming down to this other expansion, like no breaks. And while this is happening, I'll do most of my macro. I'll build barracks, engineering bay, like, literally, I'm so far behind. 
Like he hasn't done any economical damage, and I'm only I'm only at 32 workers, but because of my harass, I have I've got his, his down. Like he's not able to progress. <laughs> so like it's just the way I do it. It's not a lot of people don't do it this way. But yeah, I play the best. I mean, I try to just do like standard macro, but I'm, I'm just, like Karen is just like with Taren, you just have to. You have to keep harassing up or else you just fall down. You have to just harass up. Karen in the late game is just not very good. And I'm not one of those people to say, like, oh, my race is unpowered. You know, other races are overpowered. Like, I literally don't think that. I think the game is pretty pretty much balanced for the most part. But Terran's stronger point is in the early game. It's just a known fact. So that's why I do what I do. And that's why I'm successful that way. There's my barracks. Flying well, back. He's on his job. He's trying to put up his uh, natural expansion back up. So I tried some uh, pressure on the, on the third and it didn't go too well. So I had to pull back. I've got my third up finally. And uh, we've got my workers just now at 36, so slightly ahead of them. Looks like he's going to try and kill off these rocks to maybe try and harass back, but I don't believe I allow him to do so. I'm pretty sure I'm about to send my stuff back out. I've got four barracks and uh, a factory and a starport in full production at this point. We've got plenty of supply to start streaming down a new attack. And I've got uh, planetary at the third just in case it doesn't go too well. I have something to fall back on just in case he holds off my, my attack. It's hard for me to watch my own game because like I see all these things that I'm not doing that I should be doing, you know, but no, I'm just like, go kill him now. But yeah, I should be upgrading, should be building SCVs, getting a all the space. I uh, I just select all my marines and pull them back and leave the marauders. That way the banes will um, either hit on the explode up on the marauders, and which will do like almost no damage, or the mar marauders will just kill them as they're chasing my marines. So that's like one of the most effective ways to fend off banes. Pull my double click on a single marine is what I do, and then just click back. And then once they get back behind my, all my marauders, then I start splitting them up, just in case they do get past my marauders. And that's, like, I almost have no problem with playing Bane with that, with that technique. Anyway, that was it. I made him tap out. Like I said, I've only built 48 workers in this entire game. And that's just my style, but it does work for me. And I believe this was that he was high master league so yeah that's that's it i guess thank you for watching if you're still here and listening to me um i'll be uploading more starcraft content to the channel and also more uh counter strike as well i haven't stopped counter strike i'm just trying on starcraft right right now i'm really trying to get grandmaster next season so i'll be playing a lot of starcraft but i'll still be playing some counter strike stay tuned for all that thanks